Only in Fox, if we told you that there was a big call center in the Valley that's responsible for hundreds of millions of dollars in revenue, you might not be that surprised. No, we're home to many call centers, but what if we told you that this call center is behind the walls of a state prison and the people making the calls and generating all of that money are inmates? It's happening in the West Valley. Troy Hayden has the details. Perryville Women's Prison sits just north of Interstate 10 near the 303. Go ahead and take a look at this map. You can see it as you're driving west on I-10. It's just north of the freeway here. And we go ahead and pull it up for you. You know, typical state prison. Uh, there's a max security area right here uh, full of notorious inmates. Jody Arias actually lives in that unit right there. But where I'm taking you is over here. It is in the minimum security area in a low-slung, really nondescript building right here. Inside, hundreds of women are working, making hundreds of millions of dollars for their clients. I was female athlete of the year in high school. I lettered in all sports that I did, and then I just met the wrong people one day, and everything spiraled downhill, and I lost everything, lost it all. Once a promising student and athlete, Cindy Davis lost everything to a drug addiction, and that eventually included her freedom. When the judge said, you're sentenced to eight years, I looked at my family and I just started crying. I sat down and I thought about it, and I was like, this is time, Cindy, it's time to change your life. Cindy and hundreds of other women are now working to change their lives here. The reason for my call today is I would like to discuss some of the recent innovations that we've made to our analytics platform. This is the Televerdi Call Center, a group of workers making business-to-business -business phone calls, selling technology solutions to companies to increase their efficiency and their profits. And while it functions like many similar call centers here in Arizona, there is a stark difference with Televerdi. It is inside the walls of Perryville Women's Prison, staffed by the women who are incarcerated here. Every workday, Cindy and Televerdi colleagues like Teresa Peterson make an unusual commute. They walk from their cell house where they live through a fortified gate and into the single level Televerdi building. They boot up their computers, they pick up the phone, and they get to work. Something that's a real privilege behind these fences. The fact that I walk out of prison every single day and walk into being a human being, um, it means the most to me because I talk to executives and they ask for my opinion. Hi, my name is Cindy with SAP America. How are you doing today? And after I hung up, it was just that boost of confidence that you really need to keep moving forward. This operation, though, produces more than confidence or just self-esteem. 425 inmates work here generating over $300 million in revenue every year for well-known Televerdi clients like SAP, Honeywell, and Adobe. The women here make the initial inroads to sales, then they send out teams of professionals who are not in prison to close the deals. So the women here uh, earn money? Yes, they do. For themselves and for your company? For, themse for, for themselves, for our company, for our clients. Michelle Scirocco is the Chief Social Responsibility Officer for Televerdi. She's been with the company for over 20 years. And as one of the top executives here now, she reports directly to the CEO. She knows firsthand the impact this program can have when it comes to turning women's lives around. Over 20 years ago, I made some bad choices and uh, found myself uh, looking at a six-year sentence, which is when I came to know Televerdi and love Televerdi. And for me, it was the opportunity to change my life, um, which, which it has obviously done. Because they are earning both job experience and some real money. In fact, Teresa says she'll walk out of here with about $20,000 in earnings when she's released in 2020. These inmates have the tools they need to lead successful lives on the outside, to avoid making the bad choices that got them here, and to keep them from coming back. And who knows what they'll accomplish next. The world is my oyster. Corporate world, here I come. <laughs> if you mess up one time in life, it shouldn't be over. You should definitely be able to make a change and make a difference and come back out into society and show them that you're a different person and that you're willing to make it this time. I'm doing real good. Thanks for asking. The reason for my call today is... Now, the goal of all of this is to make sure these women don't come back to Perryville after they're released. And there are some amazing success stories. Tomorrow morning on AZAM, we're going to have a woman live on set who went through the Televerdi program 
and is now thriving as an executive on the outside. So meet her tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. right here on Fox 10. Troy Hayden, Fox 10 News.